Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. So I'm finally going to be doing my last video of this year. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I thought let me do a, a New Year's Eve makeup look because I haven't done one yet. And it's, I know I've had like six, no five videos up this week because I missed out on Tuesday. So that's why I have it on, on a Saturday. Um, just in time before New Year's Eve. I know it's a bit late, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys because you wanted to see this purple glittery look. Yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering like I always do. <laughs> Sit back, relax, enjoy the makeup and yeah, we'll jump straight into it. <laughs> right. Bare face. First thing I need to do is tame this hair guys so i'm going to take my benefit brow setter and just comb these nasty brow How's that guys? Neat. This top is slightly annoying me. Slightly. This is why I don't wear it off the shoulder unless it's for like an Instagram picture or something. Because I remember I wore it to my birthday dinner with my friends and I had it off the shoulder thing and throughout the whole time I just kept pulling my top down and it was so annoying. Let's start this New Year's Eve makeup look. So the first thing I am going to do is prime my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Preppin hydrate balm what are we going to do next what are we going to do next um oh yeah i was saying i want to wear my hydrate balm well this people shouting so lately my skin has been disgusting i honestly feel like not even disgusting but it's just been feeling so dry and flaky and i ran out of my neutrogena hydro boost gel wash face wash so I've been using my sister's one that I used to use. It's the Garnier Honey Face Wash. Oh my god, guys. I used to like that, but then I stopped because I discovered the Neutrogena one because that's got hyaluronic acid and my it just makes my skin feel plump and hydrated without making my skin feel tight right after washing it. But this Garnier one has made my skin so dry. I've got like all these like dry patches around my mouth and my nose. Especially around my nose. And then I looked at my sister's face yesterday. It was literally the Sahara Desert peeling of dryness. And I was I was like, it's the face wash. We need, we need to stop using that face wash. And I can't find the face wash. I don't know. I need to get it tomorrow. I definitely have to buy it tomorrow. So now I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I'm going to be using a really dewy foundation. So I don't want it to be too like wet looking. Because my, my face is a bit textured at the moment. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Especially right on my cheekbones for some reason. Okay, let's do the eyebrows. I'm now going to be using my Benefit Brow Precisely Brow Pencil in number 6. I'm doing like a purpley mauve look. Which I haven't done in a very long time. And I, again, I always ask you guys on uh, my Insta story. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. My Snapchat and everything. I'll write everything here. Because that's where... I, I can communicate with you guys if I'm not on YouTube and I asked you guys on my Insta story if you want to see blue glitter or purple glitter and you guys chose the purple one. Yeah, I really wanted to do the blue one to be honest but we can keep that for another day. I rarely do blue and I feel like a lot of you guys want to see blue but then for New Year's Eve not everyone's going to be wearing blue so... That clock, guys. Some of you clocked it, but I'm going to take it down. <sighs> I'm going to have to buy a digital clock for this kitchen because I can't deal with this clock. This cheap-ass clock that makes so much noise. I really like to be... I like the inner corner to be, like, really... diffuse. Doesn't matter if you go beyond because we're going to use some concealer. This is why I like to do my brows before my foundation because... Um, if you go over, like you can just clean your concealer and it, it just all goes away. But before that, I'm just going to use some of my brow gel. This brow gel is so good. It feels so weird to wear earrings. I used to always, I would never, ever, 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 ever go out the house without earrings. As always, guys, I'm going to use my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer if it will focus. 
This is in the shade Golden. This is the best thing to carve your brows, honestly. It's so good. So what are you guys going to do for New Year's? I am going to be at home with family as always. And we, I might get some board games to play. Some of you have suggested some good ones. Like the Mount, uh, Speak Out, I think. I might get Speak Out. There was another one that I really liked. Oh, I might put, we might play Heads Up. You know, the Ellen DeGeneres app that she created. But we'll see. I'll try and vlog a bit, to be honest, because I didn't vlog anything for Christmas. To be honest, it's, when you vlog, it's hard to live in the moment. That's what I find. Like, you're just so constantly worried about the camera and filming, and you're living life through a camera, like, literally. And it's a bit difficult sometimes, honestly. And especially when you're trying to cherish these moments with your family, and you're just here looking for a camera. Like, it's a bit weird sometimes. So... So the people who daily vlog, like, props to them, man, because... I don't know that it, like it's a lot of work like it ain't easy and the fact that they make it look so easy the family that I've been so obsessed with lately is the ace family Elle oh my god she's so cute and the way she dances and that face she does she's like she's so into it she's like I can't even do it like she's just so into dancing <laughs> I love it. She's just so cute. Can't wait till the day I have my own baby. I always say it to everyone. Now's not the good time, but I will have one very soon, hopefully. I want to have a baby before 25. Definitely before I'm 25. So like 24, 25. That's my ideal age that I want to have a baby. So, but honestly, I don't know where life's going to take me, so we'll see. I keep saying 25, but we don't. I don't even know what's going to happen by then. I'm 22 by the way guys. Eyes are done. They look so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to go onto my eyes. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Guys, my camera's not working, but this is what it looks like. It's in the shade Tan Sand. I got one for my sister on Christmas because she stole my old one and she's... I couldn't find my um, concealer, my Tarte one, the one that I use all the time. So I looked in her makeup bag and it's just casually lying in her makeup bag, you know? Didn't even bother to put it back or ask to use it or anything especially because it's so hard to take get get your hands on um so i bought her one and honestly like i bought her i bought it i bought two when they had this offer like for like a few hours only so basically on the tart you on the tart website they were doing this offer where you can get 25 percent off everything including the tart shape tape concealer um and they never ever 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 do promotion on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer but I managed to get two I paid no shipping and no customs no customs guys can you believe that I think once brands have the UK website so like you know how Tarte have a UK website but it's still coming from the states like Anastasia as well they do, do they have a UK website Morphe does one now I really want to get the Morphe um, setting spray but today the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using is the Huda Beauty um, Mauve Obs Obsessions palette. This is what it looks like. And you can just lift it up like this. Look how gorgeous it is. So I'm going to use the paler shade in this palette. Make sure that it's all nicely blended. Just grab a big fluffy brush. Just pat it on. So for my last two videos, not my last two, basically the video of my little brother and the video where I did the Huda Beauty lip swatches. So many of you guys like my eye makeup and I literally use like two shades from this palette. That's it. And then I did like my liner and glitter liner. And I'm going to use this shade right here. So we're going to place this colour in the crease. Oh yeah, we're doing, I'm going to be doing a halo kind of eye. Halo slash cut crease. A lot of people have been doing this halo eye, but they cut it right in the centre. Do you know what this eyeshadow palette smells like? It smells like those jelly aliens that I used to get when I was little. You know those aliens that come in an egg and they come with the jelly? 
the goop build that color up I'm just gonna go straight in with this color right here then take your clean brush and just soften up the edges I'm now using this shade right here just to deepen it up a bit Just keep blending, just keep blending. Now you're gonna take a bit of your Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now you wanna take a bit of your Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and with a small brush, small flat brush, you wanna like carve. Like a little crease. I'm going to be using a shade right here to set that concealer. Okay, so this is the first time I'm officially working with the shadows. There's a lot of fallout, but look at the shadow. It's pretty. I do have to say some of the colours do come less pigmented, like you don't you don't get that full impact like the Desert Dust palette or the Rose Gold palette, like it's just a bit muted compared to what you see in the palette, but there is still some good colour payoff and I think for like £25 it's not bad and you get a mirror with it, they're really, really sturdy little palettes. The shimmers though they're perfect like they're just so good so it's so so good like this red right here that is pigmented now i'm going to be using my revlon lash glue and this is the clear one this is like a really good lash glue and i'm just going to use that with my certify glitter this is just their purple one So if you guys want to taper it off, then just like apply much less glitter. Like I'm lightly touching it with glitter. Right, next I'm going to use my Primark Saint or Sinner liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner is actually really, really good. Now I am going to curl my lashes. And the mascara I'm using today is the one I haven't used in forever. It's the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. It looks like this. And now I'm going to be using this Pink River Lashes. These were sent to me a while back. I have used them before. don't know what style they're in though. I have to check. I'll write in the info box once I know. I'm gonna stick these lashes on. I would say I'm quite happy with these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my other eye and I will be right back. So I just finished both eyes. I do wanna say my sister put the hot water on because she's taking a shower and there's noise, the heating's making noise. So I do apologize about that. Which is one of the struggles I have to deal with. It's all good. I'm just gonna get off any excess glitter. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y445. Before I do that, I'm gonna put some of my Wonder Kiss from Wonder 2 on my lips because my lips are dry as hell. This is gonna make my lips nice and plump as well. I'm going to use my 
Nanchi foundation brush. I'll link the set in the info box. I'm then going to apply some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to brighten those under eyes because they're looking hella dark. Gosh, I feel like this heating thing is so loud. And I'm using my damp beauty blender to blend that out. And let's take some of the excess on the sponge and just highlight the highest points of my face. And use your foundation brush to kind of like blend out the edges. I am also going to take my Fenty Beauty matchstick in espresso and contour my face. I've been really liking to contour lately. I'm now going to take some of my iconic London drops. This is the original one. Pop it there, and you want to blend it quick, guys. brush again to make sure that the contour is nicely blended and diffused. I'm going to take the other side of my sponge just to quickly blend the under eyes for any creases. And I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Banana Powder to set my under eyes. want to take any powder brush and brush off the excess I'm going to use my big bronzer brush this is from my doe color set and I'm going to use my 17 what is this soft matte pressed powder in bronze glow, medium. I'll link it in the other box, guys. I don't get why products have to have such long names. I can't believe that this is my last video of the year. Can you believe that? Definitely this year has opened many opportunities for me. And I feel like we've come so far on this channel this year. I've been on YouTube for three years now, but this year has definitely been a huge milestone for me. We hit 50,000, then we hit 60,000, then we hit 70,000. Like, can you guys believe that? I'm just so grateful for you all. I just hope that I can continue making good videos for you guys and for myself because I enjoy it. It's my me time. Really, really, really been enjoying being on this journey, to be honest. And I just don't even know what 2018 holds. And I hope it comes with a lot of joy and happiness because that's what counts the most for me and health my family okay i've done my bronzer i went i went deep real quick there i'm gonna top off i'm gonna top that um highlighter with the bronze glow highlighter by bobby brown just to kind of warm it up a bit can you see i've got lots of texture on my cheeks guys lots especially this one i want to look I want to look glowy. Okay, that's the face done. I'm just going to grab my Laura Geller Spackle Mist and I'm going to set my face with that. I'm just blending some eyeshadow on my lash line. Then we're going to 
go in with our mascara. I think the best thing this year was knowing that I put a smile on some of you guys' faces and that just makes me so happy. Like it just, I feel like I have purpose to make you guys smile. One thing that I really, 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 really want to do in 2018 is, I know everyone says this, but I need to start eating healthy, guys. Like, the eating, the eating, I eat too much. I'm telling you, I eat way too much. I'm just highlighting my inner corners with the Bobbi Brown highlighter. On to lips, I'm just going to take... My lips feel so much better makes them a bit pinky as well so the final thing is actually I don't know if I want to put gloss but I want to check I'm gonna be using this NYX lip lingerie in what is this confident it's like a mauvey color and I feel like it will go with this look so nicely Do you know what? I'm going to keep it like this because we've got enough shimmery going on on the eyes. Guys, what do you think? What do you think? Do you like it? Okay guys, this comes to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, I really enjoyed doing this one. And this lip though. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I don't know, this feels so weird saying that this is going to be my last video of the year. I'm just so grateful guys, I can't, I just, that's all I have to say and I can't like say it enough but thank you so much for just being here. You guys wanted to see a New Year's Get Ready With Us video with my sister so I will be filming that on New Year's Eve. So that will be up in the new year obviously so sometime next week. Um, it makes me really happy that you guys felt like you could connect with us and you know it's just like you're sitting down with us and doing your makeup with us you know. Or if not you're just watching but I really like watching get ready with me so I think that's all I have to say I wish you all a happy new year and may your year be filled with joy and happiness and good luck and fortune and all the good things that life could bring you thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me and I hope that we can do bigger things bigger and greater things in 2018 and yeah, thank you so much again. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.